What's up, pre-meds? So if you are applying to osteopathic medical schools through a COMAS, there is a small change this year to the 2023-2024 application cycle that I wanted to just talk about briefly. There's been some students who have been concerned about this change and what exactly it means, but I really wouldn't worry too much. So basically this year, you are going to have an in-progress status as part of the application. Now, usually what happens early May is when the apps open up and then you are able to submit your application, but they're not really sent to the schools until usually sometime in early June. Now, this year, what's going to happen is the second you start filling out that application and designate a school that you want to be applying to, it is going to have an in-progress notification that gets sent to the school. So basically, they're going to get some preliminary information that you're going to be applying. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to be able to see your personal statement or anything you've started writing or working on. It's really just going to be mostly demographic information. They're going to see that you plan on applying to their school. Now, one of the questions is, well, does this mean then I have to get my application in early. Let's say, for example, I was taking a May test date and your score wouldn't be back till June. What do you do? I personally wouldn't change anything. If you need to take a May test date or even a June test date, although that's a little later than I, I would like, but some people need to do it. You're better off having the right amount of time to study for the MCAT and doing well, even if you're not the earliest possible. Also, they are probably not going to be reviewing your application right away. Each school does their own thing when it comes to the timeline for the application. Applications. And so can they send you secondaries earlier this year? I guess it's possible, but I think the timelines are still going to be very similar than they've been in the past. The only thing it does is gives schools a little bit more information on how many students it looks like are going to be applying and they'll start to know that information early on, as well as some of your demographic information. But I wouldn't worry about them being able to see too much of what you're working on. That's not going to happen until you complete your application and you go through the verification process. And most schools are not going to just start sending out secondaries right away. They're going to want to see that you've actually completed the primary application through a COMAS, and then that's when the secondaries will start rolling out. But as always, you should be pre-writing your secondaries anyway, so that you're not caught off guard when you have lots of secondaries coming in all at once. So that's the quick update. If this was helpful, I'd love for you to like, subscribe to this channel. We're constantly putting out up-to-date pre-med information. And if you're interested in pre-med coaching and MCAT prep, you can click the link below and either schedule a call with my team or or see some more information on exactly what we do at the Prima Consultants. All right, that's all for now. Have a good one, guys.